It is a controversial way to try to stop speeding, adding red light and speed cameras. You know, it's an idea that, of course, isn't exactly new to Cincinnati. Not exactly new, but one city council member feels we need to reconsider the idea. WCPO 9 News anchor Brett Bogansky shows you why it is an uphill battle to make it a reality here in Cincinnati. You see it happening. Um, it's not slowing down. A solution to stop the number of drivers speeding through intersections and through neighborhoods. Speed cameras and red light cameras. I think people are saying enough is enough, and so it's now time to reconsider it. However, in 2008, voters passed a charter amendment, which limits how the city can use photo enforcement. The ordinance says the city can't use these cameras unless there's an officer there. Why do you think it's different now? Look, it's years later, and I think people are fed up with people dying, people getting injured, and near misses. City data shows there were 200 pedestrians hit this year in Cincinnati as of September 9th, with four fatal crashes in downtown, Walnut Hills, Mount Lookout, and Avondale. I think there's a lot more they have to do as far as educating the, the community. Cincinnati NAACP President Joe Mallory opposes the cameras. The areas that they put these red light cameras are typically in the black communities or areas that are not as affluent and those these affluent areas you don't see red light cameras or speed cameras in those areas. Mallory feels the city should consider alternatives like speed humps and roundabouts. I'm not opposed to that but you can't die at every road. There has to be some roads that are thoroughfares. State Representative Tom Brinkman was part of the group in 2008 that led the Charter Amendment and says the idea of speed cameras also doesn't make financial sense. They only get 40 cents of every dollar from its red light ticket. The 60 cents goes to the company that administers it. So the city would be at a loss to have this. Jeffrey says the idea is not about making money for the city, but added the city needs to work out specifics about the potential for cameras. Placing them in strategic areas um, to slow people down. I mean, we know it's a, it's effective. So we need to start the conversation um, and uh, and move it forward. So we don't know if the majority of city council is on board with this, but if it got to that point, they would have to put it to a vote and then it would have to go to a vote of the people. And speaking with council member Jeffries, he said the earliest that could happen would be next year in the month of November. So we're going to keep you posted for that. We're live in downtown tonight, Brett Bogansky, WCPO 9 News. All right, Brett.